Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for part two of the talk about what 2018 offered us rock music fans. So I'm going to continue where I left off, and this is to talk about As It Is' his new record, The Great Depression, which really discussed about the poet in the the poet or whatever that is going through all these motions and feeling like he's gonna die and that life is meaningless kind of and that he has a reaper following him in the reaper song with Aaron Gillespie and yeah Great Depression was a sad record but it also brought light to the subject of mental illness and I like that they talked about it in this album with Stigma Boys Don't Cry which kind of is a very touchy song and so is the handwritten letter uh, I think my favorite one that kind of brings light to the subject of mental illness is the hurt the hope that was a pretty sad song but it I love the lyrics all alone. I'm, I've lost the hope that I'll find myself again. There's a heart so cold within me it feels like February. Yes, it pretty deep, but it's pretty good. And Under Oath made a new album, uh, Erase Me, that talked about religion in a way. And uh, feeling like God can't save him, save them or whatever. And it was a pretty good album with rock in it. Uh, I Hate It was uh, their third single or third music video, I think, that they released after the Rapture song. I thought they weren't going to do the I Hate It music video. I thought it was going to be like something else. Uh, but it's fine. Um, I Gave Up was a good closer track. Uh, it talked about how he gave up on pretty much life in general, I guess. Yeah. Every day is a lie, every mile a mountain. That's pretty much talking about giving up on life, mostly. But it's a good closer. Great drum work, great guitar work. Uh, the whole album had a lot to offer. And as you see on my poster over there with 30 Seconds to Mars, they released an album called America. And it didn't get enough attention it deserved for us listeners, but Rescue Me did talk about mental illness and trying to fight those demons. Uh, I think Live Like a Dream was their best work. But the song with Halsey, uh, Love is Madness, was just <sighs> stupid. Um... And The Great Wide Open was... I really did like it. I gave this album a 7 out of 10, but... It's an average kind of album, I think. And Ice Nine Kills made a record called The Silver Scream, which talked about Halloween movies, like Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street for the song The American Nightmare. Uh... The Halloween movie, which talked about stabbing in the dark for that song. Uh, Thank God It's Friday talked about Friday the 13th reference. Um, Savages didn't really talk about that. It was just kind of an anthem rock song to really jam out to. Um, a Grave Mistake. I don't know what that's referenced from but it was a good song uh the last song was just creepy it is the end it talked about pennywise
from it. And jeez, that song gave me chill and cringe moments. God, it was just so freaking creepy. Um, after that, there's Avenged Sevenfold's EP, which I thought was pretty good, but it was only four tracks. And Fight the Furies, uh, Still Breathing EP was not too bad, but it could have been better. I thought My Demons was kind of an average track, but after listening to it repeatedly, I'm starting to enjoy it a little more. Um, Hollywood Undead Psalms talked about, I guess, fighting back those demons too. Uh, and the last rock album for the year was Crazy 88's Burning Live, which, geez, that was a very good record. It was just something to rock out to. And, uh, I don't think they referenced anything about mental illness or anything in that album, but it was a really good rock album. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else to discuss more, but comment below and let me know what you thought of the talk about what 2018 offered us rock music fans, and you can leave a comment discussing what your favorite album of this year was, or you can talk more about why you like the albums that I mentioned on here, and much more. Uh, and tap a like on this video if you liked it, and the first part too. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. I will be returning to you maybe the end of the week. I don't know for sure. But mostly Sunday I will definitely be returning to you for the top 20 bad movies of 2018. And next Thursday I'll be doing the top 20 best albums of 2018 and the top 20 best movies of 2018 on Saturday after that. So definitely stay tuned for those three videos next week, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.